Today, dear friend, I happened to happen upon a Fox News show. It was on one of those um, uh, YouTube uh, suggested things, and I'm not going to mention the name of the. I'm not going to mention the name of the show. It doesn't really matter. Harris Faulkner, and she had a a, a guest on. I'm not going to mention. There's okay. I'm not going to mention his name because there's no. Trey Gowdy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The most exciting. And, and, and I've got these, these. I guess my, my YouTube algorithm wants me to you know, see these. So I'm thinking, okay, what are they saying? A story that has so many levels, textures, areas of entry. I, I, can't, even, I, I, I can't even go through all of them. I'm seeing them. I'm hearing them. And I'm reading them. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm going through this. And I'm seeing this. And what is amazing to me, what is absolutely amazing, is that they covered it in the most boring of ways, the most stupid of ways. I'm not going to go through, I'm not going to reiterate. It's like, do you not understand? You're missing the point. This is, no, no. This is, this is a soap opera. This is professional wrestling. This is, this is everything. This is, this is bigger than anything I have seen. It's bigger than that. I don't even know how to explain it. This is a, a passion play, a Greek tragedy about everything that's wrong in our system. Everything that's wrong, the lying, the prevarication. Now she's saying, or now the Biden White House is saying, I don't know anything about, we, we, we never met with her. We never, we never met with, who, Fanny? Well, no, we don't, we don't, immediately. And they're saying, no, wait a minute, hold it. Ashley Merchant through freedom of information or open access or whatever, got this, these documents. She went there, I think, with 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 the the, the mayor of of, of uh, Atlanta. I mean, this is you know it's bad when they say who we don't know who you're talking about who because they're worried about the state of the union because they're worried about. I mean, let's face it, this is a disaster. So they're wondering what are we? That's the last thing in the world we're thinking about. That's the last thing we're thinking about is Fanny who. What are you talking about, Fanny? Who, Fanny? Who's Fanny? They have no idea who Fanny is. That's the beautiful part about this. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been doing this for a long time. And I've been kind of media, media types. I remember so many different cases, so many cases that were, that were big on TV. There was the, the, uh, remember that Kaylee, poor Kaylee Anthony, and it was Casey Anthony. And I, and I immediately one time on television predicted she'd be found not guilty. They were, they were going to run me out of town, run me out of town. I was saying, I'm telling you, I know what's going on with this case. And it wasn't even that complicated. It wasn't that complicated because there was no cause of death. You couldn't prove the cause of death, period. Remember Zimmerman and the Trayvon Martin case? I said, He's going to be found not guilty. I thought I was going to have to leave town. They thought it was a racism thing. You're not following the case. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I knew what was going on. Because of Florida stand your ground law. Because of reasonable doubt. Because of a lot of other things. This is what I told them. I told them. They didn't want to hear it. They didn't like this. Because they thought that somehow this was a racial. I don't give a damn who's involved. Whether it's a white, black. I'm telling you the truth. This is what's happening. This is, this is, this I know. I know at least the legal part of it. O.J. Simpson, the greatest. That wasn't very complicated. People didn't change their stories. There were some crazy stories that were kind of sort of advanced, but not really. Not really. O.J. kind of sort of maybe said that, not during his trial, but he was chipping golf balls. And I mean, that, this stuff, but, but that was mild. This is the greatest. This is absolutely, this is made for TV. And the reason why is you've got a great villain or villainous. You've got Fanny. Fanny is this perfect, entitled, arrogant. She, she's had, she's shown from what we understand, well, her office has shown some proficiency as far as prosecuting goes. She's had, she's had racketeering cases in the past. She's not completely devoid of any kind of proficiency, but thought, this is my cookie jar. Go ahead. I'm in charge of everything. Go ahead. Take some of that. 
you know, I'll, I'll hire you. Sure, hire him. Hire Nathan. Get a hold of this one. Get a hold. Wait, wait, what? Special grand jury. Sure, we'll do that. And you know and I know that you're going to see the 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 stank factor. First, Terrence Bradley, going back, is going to be persona non grata to everyone from now until the end of time. Do you hear what I'm saying? From now until the end of time, nobody will want to be in the same room with him. They're going to wonder, are you recording this? I don't even want to, I don't know you. I don't even want to know you. Get out of here. You are bad luck. You are exceeding. You are negative. Get away from me. Go away. Go away. You don't understand whose side he's on. I don't understand any, I, I, I don't understand anything. The number of, the put it this way, the number of potential perjury charges, I can't keep track of them. I can't keep his, Wade, Nathan, and hers. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Let me just see if I can. There are very few professors. I was trying to think, what, what, what would this be like, this case? It'd be like you watching a surgery and finding out that a surgeon uh, ate a ham sandwich during the surgery over the over the open wound or something that is like, what? That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. No, no, no. Normally you get a prosecutor. The prosecutor runs for the hills. Shut it down. Shut it down. I'm right. DQ. Goodbye. See ya. Done. Finish. I'm not going to hang around here. I've got other cases to handle. I'm a district attorney. Take this case. But you can't. Fanny, you can't. This is the one that's going to put you on the map. Fanny, this is a case that puts you on the map. You're going to be forever famous. Don't you understand how this works? Don't you understand? Don't you get how this thing works? Fanny, you can't. You can't leave this one. You can't. You've got to take this one all the way to the end. Fanny, you're going to see Donald Trump. He's going to be in your courtroom. He's going to have to be in the courtroom. You and Donald Trump, you, and he cemented forever, you, this was your concoction, this was your baby, you gave birth to this case, or birth, as people would say, you gave birth to this. You created this out of nowhere. You hit them with the biggest case. Yours, Fanny, believe it or not, your case is the biggest of them all. Your cases. Did you know that? It's the biggest of them all. It is out of all the cases, believe it or not, even the federal cases, even those, what this is, this is off the charts. This is off the charts. Scary as hell. Dear God. It is unbelievable. And this is all you. This is all you. That's the part that's so amazing. You can't let this go. You can't let this go. You got to hang on. They're trying to take it away from you. Don't you understand this? They're trying to take it away from you. You can't let them do it. You can't. That's the part that's so critical. That's the part that's so critical. My friend, let me remind you of some prefatory stuff as I'm getting into it. We have a lot to talk about. So get ready, sit back, grab a cold one because this is it, my friends. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos. Make sure you do that. And also make sure you understand that we've got some wonderful, wonderful, incredible sponsors, the likes of which you can't believe, and probably one of the most critical of them all, is our good friends in my Patriot Supply. Preparewithlionel.com. This is about, think about this, emergency food. This is not a luxury. This is not one of these, well, maybe, who knows? I don't know, maybe. Well, I don't. This is emergency food as in disaster preparation. Listen to this. Let's talk about a very serious subject, emergency food. That's right, emergency food. I know, I know. At first blush, it's difficult for... For most people to think about something that they just take for granted ever reaching emergency status. 
We're used to stores always being open. Delivery is always made. No supply chain disasters. No ransomware catastrophes. None of that stuff. Nothing sh shutting down our gas stations, right? No trucking strikes. No war. No protests from farmers. Nothing catastrophic in terms of weather. Nope. That can't happen to us. Uh-uh. And I understand it's a defense mechanism that we have because the idea of ever not being able to eat or locate food is seemingly incomprehensible. Well, it's not. That's why it's time for you to go to my site, preparewithlionel.com. Preparewithlionel.com has the deal of deals for you. Now, take it as a, as a starter set. You've been putting off emergency food for too long. Some people still have a thing about prepping as though preparing for emergency is foolish. Now, right now, you can save $60 on a four-week emergency supply kit. This is unbelievable. 16 varieties with a 25-year shelf life, 2,000 calories a day in two beautifully modular uh, buckets that weigh 38 pounds total. These are waterproof, and they're perfectly stackable. Four weeks, a month. Now, be honest. Could you go a week without any trips to any store? I'm not talking about having stuff in your cabinet. I'm not talking about banana chips and jerky. I mean food, real food. So go right now to preparewithlionel.com. Right now, right this moment, preparewithlionel.com. Preparewithlionel.com. You'll thank me. Trust me. Now, before we get in, my friend, let me say that uh, Lauren Greenwell is a new member. Lauren, welcome. Have a seat. Grab some crumb cake. Let's get ready to go here. I've never heard... Any case in the longest time where the prosecutors are themselves the case. The prosecutors are the case. They're the, normally, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter in the least. The prosecutors are the case. The, the, the prosecutors are front and center. This doesn't happen. None of it happens. This, this, is, this is nuts. This never happens. Do you understand that? Do you grab what I'm saying? Do you, do you understand what I'm telling you? This never happens. And what's also more fascinating than anything else is that you have people right now who are looking at the biggest case. I want you to imagine this. In this little courtroom, kind of little, in Fulton County, Donald Trump, Secret Service, when he shows up, when he shows up, what is that going to look like? Just imagine this. Imagine the look, the excitement, the live coverage. What it's going to do for the what it's going to do, believe it or not, for the for the 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 actual economy. Think about this for the economy. It's the most it's, it's the most incredible story in the world for the economy. Think about this. I think is absolutely, how do I say this? How do I even, how do I even put this into words? How do I put this into words? The, the, every aspect of it, the case upon, the greatest case of all time. And you were there. You are a part of it. And you've been waiting for this. And now they want to kick you off. And not only that, so that's number one. That's number one. You got it? That's number one. That's the issue. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's, that's the first element of this. Then it gets worse. Then it gets worse. It gets fundamentally worse. During the course of this, you lost your mind. You fell prey to this. You didn't realize what you're doing. You weren't paying attention. You weren't fought. You, you weren't, you, you were almost being played. And you took the stand. And apparently you have nobody but nobody who I guess apparently does anything to maybe help you, to provide any kind of assistance, to give you any, any kind of advice or guidance. Nobody to tell her, now listen, do us a favor. Do us a favor and make sure you do something which is most important. We're asking you a big favor. We want you to understand something, that all you have to do is just admit it. Admit what happens and everything is fine. That's all. Just admit it. Admit what's going on. Admit the story. Admit what happened. It's not against the law. It's not against the law. You might, you might 
I don't know, react accordingly. It doesn't matter. We want you just to tell the truth. That's all. And when you say it, say yes. Absolutely. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Answer the question. And we want you to be absolutely nice and cordial. And we want you to be, be we want you to be, we, and she's thinking, wait, 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 wait. You want me to do what? Yes. Just, just, just answer the question and then sit down. You should have known this was coming. Somebody should have told you a long time ago, like, listen, be very careful about this. Be very careful. Be very careful of what you're doing. Okay. Are you sure you want to hire Wade? Yes. You sure about that? Yes. This looks really bad. I know it looks bad, but it doesn't really matter. No, no, you don't understand. She didn't understand this. You're hiring too many people close to you. You don't understand. This is you, you now are under you, you are under complete and total scrutiny. You have to understand this. You have to, you, you can't do what you're normally doing. This is this is the part that just blows my mind. There was a case, there's this new threat. I mentioned this fellow, Gabe Banks, who is um, an Atlanta attorney whose wife just happened to work for the DA's office. And he represents Chris Campbell. Who's Chris Campbell? Christopher Campbell. Who is it? Wade and Campbell, the law firm. Wade and Campbell. This is Nathan Wade's partner. And he's hired by Fannie to provide services as a taint attorney to review, you know, privileges, communications, and evidence, and that sort of stuff. So she's hiring everybody she knows. Now, normally, is that okay? Of course that's okay. Except now. Not for the biggest case of your life. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? You're, and you're paying your boyfriend more than anybody else. They have no, it, even, not even close to any kind of uh, experience in this whole thing. Nobody, nobody seems to care about this. John Floyd, whom you hired, the RICO expert, right there, he was like, I don't know, 100 and something an hour. He's not even making this much. So this is this is the first part of what she does. You got to understand this. This is this is the first part. This is the first part. This is the very first the very first part of this whole story. You've got this aspect of her. She doesn't care about that. And then during the so so we have that. Then she takes the stand repeatedly. She's taking the stand and she's lying. She's lying about cash. She's lying about this. She's lying about everything. And anybody who's looking at her who says, holy God. And even though no family might, might, might not be able to prosecute you for every one of these little things you've said, some of them are kind of uh, collateral, some are stupid, but oh my God, we had no idea you were this bad. We had no literal idea you were this bad. My God, make it stop. She had no clue. None. None. And she keeps going. And she keeps going. Now, the latest news, this is kind of interesting. The latest news is that the Fulton County Board of Ethics, yes, it exists, has apparently conducted an investigation and they have determined that it does not have jurisdiction to hear two complaints against Fanny, don't get rid of Fanny, Fanny Wilson. Well, Willis, I keep saying Wilson. And it was a, a finding that they say kind of circumvents just a tad defense attorney's contention that the DA violated county ethics rules in the election interference case. Now, the ethics board today was set to hear two complaints related to these allegations that she had an improper romantic relationship with, with, you know, with, uh, with Nathan, her boy toy. And she'd be disqualified from the case. But when the meeting convened, the chairman... A Daraka Satcher announced the board did not have jurisdiction over the complaints because Willis is a state constitutional officer and not a county official subject to the ethics code. Instead, it was said that Georgia State Ethics Commission is the perhaps a proper venue for the complaints of Fulton County Code of Ethics. Our code of ethics only applies to county officers and employees. So for now. Now, do you think this this somehow satisfies as some kind of a victory? Do you think, hey, good news? Do you think so? 
Do you think this is some kind of a victory? Do you think that she did? I mean, seriously. Are you kidding me? Do you think? Do you think that everything's okay now? Do you? No. How much you want to bet right now? If you had a uh, from a chance of of, of zero to ten, zero meaning no chance whatsoever, ten being absolutely. What are the chances? What are the chances now of Fanny doing what makes the most sense for her own skin is to just disqualify herself, get out of it, and say, out of an abundance of caution, to avoid the mere mere appearance of impropriety, I'm stepping down. What do you think? Zero being no chance of that happening. Ten meaning 100%. And by the way, many have asked before I'm doing this again. This is Mrs. L's YouTube channel. Let me just say something right now. You have been so wonderful. I love you so much. You are so incredible. Right now, my beloved, the hardest working woman, is a mere 14 uh, subs away, subscribers away. From her 3,000 level. That's it. 14. 3,000. She's been working in this all day. You have no idea. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being, not self-serving. I'm being honest. Nobody works harder than what she does. Nobody is committed and works as hard to just spread the word. You have no idea. So I have provided this to you and I, and we would be honored to have you on board. And if you would be so, it's, it's Lynn's Warriors. That's all, Lynn's Warriors. Lynn's Warriors, YouTube, Lynn's Warriors. That's it. Go and sign up and I put the link for you right there. Lynn's Warriors, thank you. I always believe in uh, in rewarding the truth and guts. That's what I like. And I maybe I have a vested interest in this. Maybe I'm biased, but it's the truth. All right, enough of this. Now, what's happening next? Nobody even cares anymore about this case. Nobody cares. That's number one. Nobody, do you even know what this case, do you understand what this is? Do any of you, dear friends, is there anybody here who could tell me what exactly is racketeering? In, in, in the light most favorable to President Trump, what exactly is he charged of doing? L-Y-N-N, Lynn's Warriors. Thank you, truly. Lynn's Warriors, L-Y-N-N. Here is the link right here. Just click this link. Just click this link right here. Lynn's Warriors, L-Y-N-N apostrophe S Warriors on YouTube. That's all. But here's the question. Thank you, Al. Here's, here's the question. What is, what is he charged with doing? There is not one charge that the president, maybe, 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 I'm not saying he's guilty of it, but the charge that makes the most sense is where you say, he took the papers. He had some papers. Okay. He took the papers. Honey, I believe we have hit pay dirt. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you. You made her happy. Thank you. Lynn's Warriors. Thank you. And the hits keep on going. Thank you. Look at that. You made her day. 3,003. Thank you for that. Thank you. 3,006, honey. It's going up. Share the information. It's very, very critical. But thank you for this. Thank you. Um, but can you understand what racketeering is? Does this make any sense? No. The only thing people can understand, the only thing they can really grasp is this idea that says something to the effect of, okay, he took some papers. He kept, I mean, you, you kind of understand that. He took some papers. He had some papers. I understand it. I, I get it. You might say, well, you know, Biden did the same thing. But, 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 but I understand what it means. He took some papers. I got it. I got it. The other cases, I have no idea. I have no earthly idea what the hell he's even talking about. Do you understand this? Right now, imagine this. I've got, I'm threatening you, and you've got to tell me what it is that they're charged. What? Other than the papers, what has he done? Well, he may, ha may or may not have been involved in something to do with perhaps maybe January the 6th. Was he involved in January 6th? Absolutely not. Nothing, none, no, nobody was charged with insurrection. Not one person. Not one person. So that's that argument. Okay. Papers. What else? Well, the E. Jean Carroll case. What about that one? Well, 
that was a sexual battery. That's your, and then defamation. And the judge will not allow him to forego any type or suspend any type of collection efforts on that. They want to just wipe the guy out. So that's that one. What else do we have? What else is there? Well, we also have this uh, case involving this ridiculous, again, it's a civil case. It's a Letitia James case involving the valuation of property where no one has brought any came, a claim of fraud or allegation of fraud or anything against him, but he's been found uh, liable to the tune of $350-something million. Nobody, did this make any sense to you? No. And then, and then the case of Bobby Dusty Saddles, or whatever her name is, I don't even know what the hell her name is. This is a woman who, this is, this, this is just bizarre. This is just bizarre. He is, he is alleged, he is alleged, let me explain this to you. He is alleged to have perhaps, maybe, improperly paid her off through some type of, okay, fine. Then we have racketeering. Racketeering. Okay, now I understand. Racketeering. Mafia stuff. Mafia, right? Yeah, yeah. Racketeering. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Okay, Sparky. Now we're talking racketeering. Okay, here we go. Who did he racketeer with? Who? Racketeering, you have to have a series of predicate acts that they have to prove. Ballot of false electors. Uh, they, they have a series of these predicate acts. And if you can show that these predicate acts were were committed in furtherance of this racketeering enterprise, then he is theoretically guilty and everybody who was a part of the organization. See, in the old days, people in the mob, Carlo Gambino and others, they would say, I'm not, I'm not involved in anything. Nobody's ever met him. Nobody talked to him. None of the underlings ever met him. They never even saw the guy. They, there was... So the best thing they could do is conspiracy. And conspiracy didn't really work with Carlo Gambino because he was too far away. It was too far away from this. So racketeering came along in the in the seventies and in the news in the eighties. And this is Robert Blakey from Notre Dame. He came up with this, and Congress passed it, and they they never used it. And one day, either Rudy Giuliani heard this, or lecture, or Michael Chertoff, because it's his fellow named Chertoff who did it. He heard this and he says, wait a minute, we can, this is the story. We can go after organized crime by proving a membership, their membership in the organization, their membership in this racketeering enterprise, this group, this, this cabal. So we don't have to prove that they all, you know, that Carlo Gambino gave the issue. No, we got to prove the existence of a racketeering organization. Predicate acts, meaning that certain people were involved in it. And that's it. Once that happens, you are a racketeer. And you are just as guilty as an underling who's a guilt. You're a part of the enterprise. You're a part of the club. Everybody who's a member of the club is guilty. It's a fascinating theory. So the question is, what did Trump do? To be honest with you, what did he do? It's one of the clumsiest. It's one of the most difficult in this particular case, but it is not impossible. Listen to what I'm saying. If done correctly, if the evidence can be there, if you can, if you can prove to a jury that, yeah, this is, this is starting to take shape. It is not beyond the realm of possibility where Donald Trump could be charged with a racketeering uh, charge. This is this is so good. She, Fanny, will be forever known in the business as having been not only securing racketeering, or, or, or but but the biggest case. This little old prosecutor, can't you see it? This little old prosecutor out of Fulton County took on the man, took on Donald Trump and brought him down. You did it. Who'd have thunk it? You see this? Do you see it? Do you see it? It's just, Fanny, you can write your ticket. Young, proud, brave, 
African American woman. I mean, she's young, fifty enough for a project. I mean, she's not, she's not a kid. She's not ancient either. She's at that that right. Brave, a story of independence, a story of pride. Oh my God, Judge Fanny Wills. I can see it. I can see it. Supreme Court, Governor, name it. They're going to make movies about you. We're going to take you to the mountain. Remember that expression? When I worked for a senator and we went and I saw these folks work with local politicians about getting on board, they take them to the mountain, take them to the top and say, this is what your future could be. This, you know, get on board. And blah, blah, blah. Fanny, can you see it? Can you see what's happening, Fanny? This is yours. This is your life. Fanny, who's going to play you? Who would you like to play you? Angela Bassett or Beyonce? You can just use whatever you want. This is it. This is it. And your father be proud. They'll know your name, Fanny. They'll know your name from sea to shining sea. Fanny Willis. Yeah. You're it. You are it. This is it. And everything they do to you, everything they do, everything, you can attribute to the fact that they hate you because of your race, because of your intrepidity, because of your backbone, because of your courage, or because of your guts. Now, Fanny, before we begin any further, is there anything I should know about? Hmm? Is there anything I should know about? Anything that might kind of get in the way of this? What do you mean? Well, for example, like if you if you were to be, oh, I don't know, stopping your your main, your special DA, kind of self-dealing, if you if you're stopping your own, you know what I mean? What do you mean? You know what I said. Are you doing that? Because remember, you made a big deal of that. Remember that, Fanny? Remember your predecessor? You said, well, I'm never going to do that. Remember that? I mean, not that, not that anybody holds you accountable, but remember saying that, Fanny? You don't have that to show, do you? Well, what do you mean? Well, well, you didn't, you weren't, you didn't hire him after you were stupid, right? You, you had the relationship afterwards. What was that? If you had the relationship afterwards, then you could say, well, it's an office romance. Both of you were kind of single. He was separated. But before, see, that'd be a different story. That would look bad. That would look like you're just hiring, you know, him because of the sexual relationship. You didn't do that, did you? Uh, no. You sure about that? Um, yeah. And there's nobody out here who would who would contradict that story, would they? Um, no, not really. You sure about that? Well, yeah, I'm sure about that. Okay, that's important. That's important because I don't want I don't want that to come back and bite us. You know what I mean? Because that wouldn't be good. What do you mean? Well, it looks it looks cheap. It looks tawdry. By the way, can I ask you a question? Yeah, this Nathan Wade. Are are you seeing him now? Well, we're not seeing him now. Did you ever see him? Yeah. You didn't see him before you hired him, did you? Well, what if I did? Well, if you did, that's not good. Not only that, you went on the stand and you were telling everybody in every conceivable form that that didn't happen. You didn't do that, did you? Because you were telling everybody, and if I recall correctly, you were telling everybody they were a liar. Remember this? You were a they were a liar. And, and, and by the way, th th can I ask you a question, Fanny? Yeah. That business about the cash. Why do you have so much cash on hand? Why do you have thousands and thousands of dollars? And that thing your father put, what was that about? Your, your, your father went to a restaurant when you were a kid. The bill was $10. He had an American Express, a Visa and traveler's checks, and nobody took this, I guess, because he's black, and it's a race. That doesn't make it, what does that even mean? We can't figure it out. Fanny, what does that mean? You can't figure it out either, can you? What the hell is he talking about? Nobody knows. Can you help me with this, Fanny? Can you maybe help me out with this? What does this mean? And and, and this Nathan, he, he's, he's in the middle of a divorce. He didn't lie about anything, did he? I mean, when you gave him, when he was on this deal, he declared all this money. He didn't put it in his escrow account. 
in his IOLTA account, did he? Well, and he didn't say on his divorce pleadings, tell me he didn't do this. He didn't say and swear under oath that he wasn't having an affair with anybody other than his wife because he didn't believe his wife had had um, uh, 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 respected the sanctity of the marriage by stepping out. So that didn't happen, did it? Well, um, and and you didn't hire his loft partner because of your relationship with him, did you? No. And this special grand jury, what exactly is that? See, nobody can figure out what exactly a special grand jury is. We never really heard of it. It can't indict. What's the purpose of this? Why would you waste time with a special grand jury and not go to a regular grand jury? Why would you want to impanel these people and say, thank you very much for your serving? We're acting in this advisory capacity of some sort in a role that none of us can really understand. We don't even know what the hell it means. We don't even know what the hell it even means. What? Ooh, huh? What's going on here, Fanny? Fanny, you're you're not you're 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 acting kind of weird. And by the way, when you I saw your testimony on the stand, what was that about? You looked like you were angry. This did not look like somebody who was ready for prime time. You were getting very upset and very angry in a courtroom that you're supposed to be very familiar with. When a defense lawyer asks you a very simple question as to your involvement with an individual that you didn't have to lie about in the first place. And you were holding up documents and you were saying, you're lying, you're lying, the lies. It's none of your business, none of my business. Well, it is if this is according. And by the way, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Wayne said the same thing. And let's talk about this Terrence Bradley. Can you explain this one? Who is Terrence Bradley? Who is he? What is going on with him? This I'm telling you again, and I want you to understand this. This is the best story. Imagine Sammy the Bull comes forward, admits to what, 19 murders, then kind of retracts them, then goes on the stand and says, remember Frankie Five Angels? Remember uh, Frankie Pentangeli? Remember when he was going to testify in the, in the Senate? And Michael brought his brother from Sicily. Remember that one? His brother. And he said, yeah, Michael. I don't remember. I, what? And they're saying, what? They were saying, Mitt, you're out of order. I don't remember. Cody. I, I don't remember. That's him. That's Frankie Five Angels. That's that's Terry. That's Terrence Bradley. Nobody can figure out what the hell is going on. This is the best story of the world. Imagine me trying to to sell this as a screenplay and the director saying, wait a minute, uh, tell me this character again. Well, you see, he's Nathan Wade's partner and lawyer, kind of. See, Nathan Wade was going through a divorce. So Nathan Wade writes up the pleadings and has Terrence sign them. But he's not really the lawyer, but whatever. And during the course of this, nobody's sure but Nathan and, and Fanny are telling everybody that they're stupid. Everybody. Yerky, the one who, who, who subleases the apartment. Bradley. Everybody knows this. Everybody. Well, they did. And then later on, for some reason or other, this is the best part, he gets on the phone or he starts talking to this woman who is really a bulldog. She's the big, she is going to be the star of this. She is the star. This is Ashley Merchant. She's the star. She's it. And if she could somehow crank up that twang a little bit, kind of give us a Nancy Grace. Where's Nancy Grace been? Is she, is she even a, around today? Crime online? Okay. This is the stuff. This is, this is it. See, that's crime online is kind of boring. This is better. This this is better because none of it makes any sense. It's this, it's this old fish, and then they're slapping this guy around. It's the most incredible story. It doesn't make any sense. Now, what's going to happen in the next time is 
President Trump is thinking to himself, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. And why this is important is very, very simple. In addition to the, to the case being bad, it also puts a pall. It makes everything else stink in and by comparison. It makes everybody, people will not be able to differentiate all the, they'll think this case was the document. They don't remember these things. They don't know. But if this case stinks, they all stink. And nobody's even talking about Trump. Imagine how Sidney Powell's thinking. Sidney Powell, who pled to some stupid misdemeanor, nothing involved in this. Jenna Ellis, she pled. Some bail bondsman, he pled. They, they jumped out of it. Everybody else hung in there. And now they're just watching this thing just collapse. Stand by for a minute, dear friends. Stand by for a minute. Let me hold back my, my excitement about this. This is the great... I've never seen anything like this. Not in real life, not on television, not OJ, not anything. But at this time, dear friend, I want to remind you of somebody that has been very, very good to us. A tremendous American, a great American, a great person with a great product. His name is Mike Lindell. It's MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel, and it goes something like this. Well, it is time yet again, my friends, to hail and salute our great friends at MyPillow.com. And if you use promo code Lionel, you'll get a free gift. No purchase necessary. And yes, I know a free gift. It's a tautology. So sue me. But first, please listen. What are we talking about here? Down comforters, flannel sheets, Giza dream bed sheets, my pillow 2.0 sheets, slippers, percales, towels, quilts, bedspreads, mattresses, mattress covers, mattress toppers, linens, kitchen towels, bathrobes, name it. Literally name it. Items to help you luxuriate and relax and they're monster sellers slippers my slippers that's right slip-ons moccasins think about it what do they do at my pillow they make things real soft and plush and comfy how perfect now here's the link mypillow.com promo code lino or mypillow.com slash solidus or virgule slash lino or call 800-645- 4965. And watch how fast Mike answers the phone. MyPillow.com. Promo code Lionel. Promo code Lionel. Simply and absolutely the best. All right, dear friends. Now, tonight, how many of you great folks are going to be watching? How many of you are going to be watching the, uh, what do I say, the uh, State of the Union? I know I'm going to be glued and riveted. So thank you for this. We will see you again tomorrow, my friends. Thank you so much for your attention. Don't forget to follow Lynn's Warriors on YouTube. Thank you so much. And until tomorrow, dear, 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 dear friends, remember these final words. The monkey's dead. The show's over. Sue ya. Ta-ta.